$8.50. Now, this motor is $8.50, and to be exact, it's the Racer Star 2207S2500 KV. Now, this is by far the best budget motor you can possibly purchase and i'll explain the performance and i'll explain why and why it is so logical and why am i going to be purchasing more if many of you have seen this build on the channel where i built this one with racer star motors i've gotten a lot of people saying oh emax ecos oh use the uh i flights use this that's fine those are considered an upgrade now i wanted to see how they perform now in 2019 with a heavy ass freestyle build and they performed great not the best they're not premium they're almost premium but the most important thing, what I was looking for in these motors, is obviously you're not going to get the top end. It's fast, but you're not going to get as fast as a T motor. What I was looking for is responsiveness. Now, if it gets me to the responsiveness of a T motor, which I'll explain what I mean by that, then we have ourselves a really great motor for a couple reasons. Now, bear with me. Now, if you're flying like a little gap and you go through the roof and you're going to hit the roof and you punch it and, and then it'll just listen to you. Now, if this motor was coming down and then I punched it and then it kept going down, then it went up, then I wouldn't come here and recommend this motor. I wouldn't, especially on a heavy quad. This is tested on a heavy quad. If I was using a light quad, I wouldn't come here and make this video. Now, yesterday I broke two of these motors and this is where this is coming from and I also broke a T motor. And again, this is, this is where this is all coming from. Now, to have a good performing motor, responsiveness, and to be cheap will give you the confidence to hit anything or try anything because they're cheap motors and you can immediately replace it with anything else. Now, this is great for your beginner, even intermediate pilots like myself. It gave me the confidence that I've always wanted to try that, but I was always afraid to break something. And this is what gave it to me. Do you see where I'm going at with this? Now, this quad will never see any other motor than a Racer Star. That's it. It's done. I like how it flies. I love the performance. I love the sense of security and confidence it gives me. And this is why I'm personally recommending it to you. Because you will see me fly this more often. Maybe not on the channel because not a lot of you like, like you know, I've been practicing my freestyle, getting a little bit better. Because I kind of lost touch with that because it was getting much more difficult to fly. But however, with the new spot, I'm able to do all kinds of crazy cool things. And I'm just surrounded by metal and bandos and interference. So I'm able to do things I wasn't able to do before. And I'm getting a whole new perspective. Now, I did remember these were great motors, but I didn't know how good. And I wanted to see how good they are in 2019. That it, how good is an $8.50 motor going to do on a heavy ass quad? And they do great. Again, they're not on the same level of a T motor or anything. But when you think about it, these two motors are going to cost me less than the VTX antennas I'm using. Do you see where I'm getting with this? Now, I did break the T motor back here. I had to bend it back a little. And, um, you know, it, it, it's. I don't think I'll buy new T motors, to be honest, because I'll probably try something else out on that. I will be trying different channels, but my main freestyle quads, some of you might think this is pathetic for some reason, but when you think about it logically, something that'll allow me to improve my skill without, you know, burning a hole in my pocket are these Racer Star motors. I'm going to build another basher quad. I'm considering these basher quads. They're premium basher quads, which means you go on an adventure. You're not afraid to break it. You just bring a couple motors with you and it'll always fly the same because when you switch out motors constantly, the quad takes a different, you know, feel for it. However, when you get used to it, it's going to be great. And don't think that with a Racer Star motor, you're not going to be able to fly like some of those great pilots. No, no, no. You know, a poor craftsman blames his tools. So if you're a good pilot, you could make anything fly beautiful. However, the responsiveness has to be there. That is a very important characteristic or aspect. And it fits my specifications. And I'm pretty sure 90% of the people's out there specifications in terms of the responsiveness that these are going to give you on a pretty heavy quad, which is a good thing. And that is why I'm recommending. Now, let's put this into perspective here. $100. What can you do with $100? Maybe you can buy around five T motors and you can buy around eight Emax Ecos, that's double, but you can buy 11 Racer Star 2205, 2207S 2500 KV. Now, it's very important. This is the best motor I've tested from Racer Star. So you can buy 11 motors and you'll still have seven bucks left over, which you could use for an antenna or the shipping. Now you have 11 motors in your backpack. What do you want? I mean, you know, if the performance is there, then it's gonna be awesome. Now the top end isn't there, it's fast. But it's not as it's, it's not a speed demon, but most of them are not meant to be a speed demon. Whether you're a beginner, you're not going to notice the difference between an Emax, Ecos, iFlight, and a Racer Star. You're not going to notice that. There's no way in hell you'd notice that unless 
they're different sizes and different cavies. Then you'll maybe notice a little bit, especially if you're new, it's really hard for you to understand how a quad feels in the beginning. But as you fly more and try other ones, it's very important to also try other ones so you can kind of get a feel for them. Then you'll get to know that. But if it fits my specifications, it'll fit a lot of other people's specifications. Um, this is not going to burn a hole in my pocket and this will allow me and give me the confidence to go and hit gaps and not be afraid to break it. Because usually what breaks first and the most are the motors. Usually, like 80% of the time, it's the motor that's going to break, then the frame, and then possibly the camera. But most likely, it's the motor, and yeah, and $8.50 a motor is a really great deal. And obviously, it has to perform good, and this is why, again, I'm making this video. Let me know if you think otherwise. Now, Emacs Ecos is an upgrade. You could, those are an upgrade, you know, they're considered an upgrade. I don't think you could put them on the same class. However, in terms of longevity, if you're doing a basher quad, that doesn't even matter because you're just going to crash. The build construction at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, the motor will break, you know, whatever motor it is. The only one that I never got to break were SZ Speed, their latest one, but it was too big and it was just sucking so much current. But that one's insane. I've never seen a motor handle so much before. It's like completely made out of titanium or something. It's, it's crazy. They're the manufacturer, by the way. We'll get into that video later on. Now, also, if you're running a 4-in-1 ESC and you're going on an adventure and, a, you know, like building a basher quad or you're a beginner and you had a couple and you use the 4-in-1 ESC, I recommend 100% to get yourself some of these either race wire or these uh, LEDs here. I'll have some link down below. They'll make the whole process much easier to replace if you're not using single ESCs. If you're using single ESCs, you're not really going to need it. But if you're using a 4-in-1 ESC like I am here, uh, where the ESC would connect on uh, this side here and then the motors would connect right here, I would easily just pop that up and then put a new one and just solder in the field right there. And I'm good to go. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I'm done. And um, it'll keep you in the air much longer, much cheaper. And uh, just have you enjoy yourself and push you yourself to your limits. I mean, if you have the money. But if you don't have the money and you want to get back in the air, these are great motors to get back in the air, in my opinion. And this is the most best advice I can give you that I would give to my brother. I would give to my cousin. I'd give to my friends. Um, I would give to anybody that I know and that I care about. And I do care about you guys. And this is why I am letting you know about these motors. Because they are good motors really good motors and uh, they're not the best motors and that's obvious but they are t up to the specifications of a good freestyle uh motor not it's not going to be for racing i mean you can race but they're not they don't have a full top end they're fast but they're not as fast as the premium motors obviously but they're going to handle just fine they even run on 5s yeah i ran them on 5s and they were fine a bunch of times so this is my personal advice to you if you're thinking of a new motor or just have some backup motors with you when you have like 34 bucks, go pick some up. Um, this is what I'll do. Right now, I'm going to order with $100. So, yeah, I'm probably going to do another build with those. What's really cool is you can have, even have two builds and two motors left over. So, th that's also really great. Uh, so, I will do more of these motors, these exact ones. I'll have them linked down below. Um, I personally think are really great motors. And uh, I'll have more build videos upcoming. But... Uh, from right now, this new perspective with the bando and, you know, hitting these gaps and giving me that confidence. Um, this is this is the whole thought process. It started the thought process after I broke these motors. And um, I just really sat down and thought about it and thought I would share it with you guys. Because I think it's, uh, it's very valuable information for some people who don't know this stuff. And let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And uh, your opinions, your experience, let everybody know. And um, this is my experience. For the longest time, I've been using a lot of Racer Star motors. But then again, recently, I just started to come back in them. Because I've been using a lot of premium motors. And now, I'm, I'm, yeah, I really like the Racer Star motors. They're really, they're good for what they cost, actually. The best performing motor for under 10 bucks. The <laughs> only perf good performing motor under 10 bucks. These exact ones are the ones that I'm recommending. Anything else, that's up to you. But I'll try to pick some up to test some other ones also. But this quad here will only run 2207S, 2500 KV Racer Star motors because I know how it feels. It is responsive and it just puts a smile on my face, you know, it, an absolute smile on my face. I, I love it. I, I can't, you know, I can't say anything else, but it's really good. And I'll leave you guys with the footage. And again, everything is linked down below. If you could check those out, those really support the channel. And um, if you do buy some, let us know your experience, whenever that might be. If you receive a month from now, two weeks from now, three days from now, 
let us know, let me know down in the comment section and let other people know also when they come watch this video. So right now this is as of 2000, August 2019 right now. And I'll leave it at that guys. I'll leave you guys with some flight footage from this, this quadcopter before breaking it and also the, the where I broke it. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys. When the time misses the shore, hold on to me. When your heart is hurting, you can't take no more. Hold on to me. When you're sinking under, and it's getting harder to breathe. Hold on to me. Hold on to me. Maybe you're out my way. Won't you come my way? Make me feel okay. Hold on to me. Hold on.